First of all, what an extraordinary human being she is, coming from a 10 square kilometre island in the Gulf in Queensland. One of the extraordinary things to remember about the Karai people is that they had no art tradition as part of their culture, which means they had no body painting, no rock art, no sand painting. When she was nearly 80 and she uh, went to the art centre on Mornington Island for occupational therapy, um, she had also no obligation. Uh, she had no tradition she had to follow. So when she started literally to muck around with some acrylics, um, out poured this whole different vision. It was only really through meeting Sally that we've actually uh, got to know what the elements are. Contemporary buildings, they're very hard line, rigid structures. And this painting will be a lovely fresh influence, I, I hope. It's very gestural, it's got a lot of energy. It's not plain surfaces like the rest of the building. It's one of the hardest things for us to do is to retain the energy from the original painting. Viewing the original, I did a same size uh, test, trial, and we were trying to work out what size brushes to use. We actually blocked in the way Sally does with really bright colours. And that was actually quite fun because uh, it, it gave us a chance to see what a full Sally would look like. Sally Gabori, her painting, when many people first see it, they don't understand that it's a landscape, a seascape. They think it's an abstract someone just playing with paint. But once you, once you go deep into her stories and whatever, every part of the painting is a special place or a special, uh, has a special story in relation to what's important to her. But the subtleties come. You see, even though at this scale, it's amazing how many subtleties you can pick. Even if you make it more abstract and simple, you've still got to get the same subtlety in there, the same little shifts and layers. It's an, quite an important part of it for me to actually have uh, an Aboriginal work painted directly on the wall and in a sense territorialising the wall. I would do all the painting and then there was a time that Geoffrey did the painting, then we could both work on things at once. Each, each time we went through another stage we had to juggle what each of our roles were. 